Hello, all my model car building buddies. This here is Model Cars with Glenn. And I'm Glenn, but don't take me too seriously. All right, where are we going to be today? Oh, let's uh, start by showing you my brother's picture. Painting. <coughs> oh, I swallowed some coffee down the wrong tube a little while ago, and I still ain't got it all coughed up. So y'all have to forgive me for being all coffee and, and gross and stuff, so... This is my brother's picture, and I think it is just awesome. That gummit, if I can get the phone to work right. No, that is, okay. That, how do you like that? It's got a big old dragon sticking up on top of the of a pyramid. And that shows you how big the dragon is, because that pyramid's pretty good size. And got a couple flop, flopping around up in the sky. And that's pretty neat. I like that. Got some Oasis or OSI. And down there, the sky is beautiful. The red and stuff. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice picture there. <coughs> That's that coffee I was telling you about. Coffin coffee. Yes, it is. All right, now next is... <coughs> Dad gum it. <coughs> I got these at Spotlight Hobbies, and I've been showing them to you for a few days, saying, oh, it's almost done, it's almost done. It ain't almost done. I ain't lying to you. It's just that it's been raining so hard, I can't paint. I, if I try to paint, it's going to turn white. I know it will. But I've done everything else I can do to it. I got all the body work about done, and I got the wheels. Look at how the wheels are sitting on this thing. Is it just me, or does having the wheels arches open up like that make it look smaller? It it does. It doesn't look as it doesn't look as tall and ever and big. Let me move it up a little closer, like this. <laughs> and yeah, what do you think? Not bad, huh? I love those white walls. I really do. There's a custom dragster. I've got. I'm working on the motor. It's a flathead with a blower and three deuces on it. Or it might be three Strombergs. You can't tell. Uh, I think it is three Strombergs. And I'm going. I'm trying to have them poke up through the hood. That's what's taking a little longer. Because I really would like to cut a little hole in, little roundish oval hole here with the three Stromberg caps sticking up through it. You know, I think that would look really tough. And I got the front end pretty much done. And, and the back end is what I'm done as much as I'm going to do to it. Sides are done. Got all the chrome off, drip rails. Working primer. I probably need to work one more. But I really like the way it looks. It sits with the wheels cut out like that. Wheel openings cut out. And I think it just looks lower and smaller. Okay. Enough of him. Let me set him over here and bring up the old bad man. I got the wheels on it. They're on it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I got the mot motor in it there. and But, like I said, I'm waiting on the paint. The weather quit raining, dang it, and let me paint this thing. I don't know. It still looks like on the weather. It still looks like four or five days of, of rain left. I don't know what's going on. I think the sky is falling or something. But uh, not, not this guy. The sky is what I'm saying. The sky is falling. It does sound like I'm saying this guy is falling, but I'm not. It's the sky. Yeah, I have a speech impediment. Sue me. Uh, 55. Beautiful car. Beautiful. I love it. I like the way it's going. I really do. If I could just get it painted. All I got is a few little accoutrements to throw on it. The window. Hey, I want to ask y'all something while I got you here. Does this look like it's been chopped about two inches on the roof up here? It, 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 I used to think maybe the body was just a little out of proportion. Maybe they didn't, didn't get it just right. But the more I look at it, the more I think it's been chopped. What do you think? Let me know in the comments because I seriously think it's been chopped. Just a little. Just enough to look sinister. And it looks cool though. I like it. I was thinking about chopping it, but why? It's already done. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, I'm going to move it. Oh. Okay. Oh, this guy, 
Ha <laughs> ha. Not this guy. This guy. Remember, it's an iced tea, and I told you I was going to be modifying it. You see where I see where I've extended the bed, and I put rail caps on it up here and on the back. And I got this fender all sanded out. I worked the prime on it. It still needs still needs another prime. Got a little needs a little more sanding right there. And I got the roof. It was way back here, you remember? You know, I took a big chunk out of the middle of it to where it's more like a, a cab, truck cab. And wait a minute. I got these guys. If I can hold this up here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's going to look cool. You know, it's, if the dead gummit, stay there. Yeah, that's going to look cool. Can't see the whole thing yet, but how about that, huh? I like that. That is going to be neat. You put a record boom in the back, that'll just set it all off. Probably right about there. Yep. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, let me see. What else we got here? Uh, uh, dead air. Oh, I got some models to show you. Boy, this is going to be a short one. A short video, cause I done showed those two. Oh, I keep forgetting. Duh, you gotta you gotta forgive me. I'm like I'll be seventy in a couple more months, and that comes with age. I got this guy, and I'm gonna show you what's in the box. Yeah, quick unboxing or deboxing, however you want to say it. Look, it's the body. I just yep. It's got opening doors, and it can have a tilt front end, or it could have an opening hood. That's up to you, you know? I think you could build it either way. Look at the style on this. I love Henry J. Henry J is a stylish-looking little puppy. Nice body. Nice body. I'm going to leave that out. Okay, next is the chrome tree. It's pretty good. I'm not too. I'm not too happy with the wheels, but, you know... Everybody's got a box full of extra wheels. And the rest of it is pretty cool. Oh, I got to turn off the flashlight. Yeah, that's better. Where you can see. You've got the blower. And the blower. And scoop. Big four-port injector. I like the four-port injector. I really do. Intake. Manifold. Uh, cool steering wheel. Cool steering. Cool steering wheel. These are... Uh, these are wheelie bars, but they got the uh, just slappers on the back to it where they dry, dry, uh, drag without the wheels on it. Okay. And it's a 427 SOHC camera motor. Got some headers. Over here we got, oh, exhaust dumps and a blower belt right there. And there's the other two parts for the blower and a shift and a shifter right there. Okay, that's that. Now for the parts. This I like. The hole is already cut in the hood, so you don't have to do that. And these are the bottom half of the two front fenders, which, you know, you're going to have to put some stuff together. And this is the top half of the two front fenders. They make, they made up pretty good. Here's the dash and the back seat if you decide to use the back seat. Not me. Uh, I'm making a gasser, and you don't need no back seat. There's a floorboard, which is nice because the frame's not molded to it or exhaust or none of that crap. Yeah, cool. Next is, if I can get it out the box without flipping everything out, what do we got on here? We have oh, a real nice pair of bucket seats. Those are primo bucket seats. Those are really, I wonder if the flashlight helps here. And no. All right. Anyway, there's the motor block and the front cover and big old parachute and heads. Over here we have rear end. Oh, cool traction bars. Long traction. And this front axle set to steer so you can pose the wheels. And here's the frame. I'm not seeing flashing anywhere. I don't think I'm seeing any flashing at all. It's pretty damn clean for an old kit. It is an older kit. It's old enough to drink gas. And uh, here's the front act. Here's the front springs. Now those front springs are choice. 
There's nothing wrong with those. You can't complain. And the rear springs are quarter elliptic. They're half springs. And I don't know what that bar is. And look at that drive shaft. That that's a nice looking drive shaft there. Got all the way through there on the detail. Oh, shocks, front shocks, rear shocks. What else? Uh, I showed you the rear end. Okay. Next is this part. We got the firewall and roll bar. The doors. I love it that the doors open. You know, you don't have to cut them open if you want them to open. You can close. You can glue them shut if you want. I mean, it ain't no big deal. And here's the interior panel. Got these cool uh, upholstery. And on this side, you got no upholstery. You, you can you can make it to where like it's a strip down, and they took all the upholstery out of it. You know, lighten the lighten the load. Other than that, we got a, a couple of really nice slicks. These look more like monogram slicks. Oh, it's Revel, so. And these front tires are excellent. Small, narrow, just what you need in a gasser. All right, next is the decals. And this is a primo decal sheet. I wish they'd sell this separate. I'd buy like three or four more. Uh, let me see. We got... Swift Henry, Henry 427, Orange Whip, Buster's Body and Paint. Got some uh, rubber for the quarter panels from doing burnouts. Some cool stripes. A few a few sponsor decals. Those are nice. Some seat belts. And these are for the gauges and the wheel centers and stuff like that. Oh, M&H for the, for the back slicks, too. That's nice. That always adds a nice bit of detail. Well, that's what's in this box. Not a lot of parts, but you don't really need too many parts. You just need enough parts to build it. What I always say. I probably said that before. I better, probably better put the body back in the box. I don't want to lose it. Okay, now onward and upward. I want to show you a couple models I got. I've showed them before mostly. This is my Volkswagen van, bus, whatever you want to call it, with, uh, oh, I lost a taillight. I hate it when I lose taillights, but they do. It's hard to glue a piece of clear onto a chrome bezel like that. But if you scrape the chrome off, then it don't stick, and it didn't. Anyway, but there's the big tires up under the back cause. Pro Street. And there's a front end of it. This is so cute. I love Volkswagen vans. Always have. Check it out. The motor is in the middle here. Big old Hemi. I think that's the Hemi out of one of those uh, 41 Willys gassers, which why not? And got a drive shaft going back to the rear end. Oh, no, going back to the V drive going to the rear end. Check it out. See the V drive? Neato, neato, scratch built V drives. Try to find a V drive. And this is the radiator and it's vented out the back window. If you can see through there. How cool is that? Nice. Got the window propped open so the air can get out. Hot air. Okay, let me see. I still got time to show you this one. This is the uh, Ed Roth. What is this thing called? Oh, my God, I can't remember the name. I knew it a minute ago. But the kit is mostly chrome. If it ain't yellow, it was chrome. And I really don't like building all chrome kits. I really don't. So I soaked everything in the de-chromer and painted it silver just to make it easier for me to get together. What in the world is this thing called? I know y'all know what it is. Probably screaming at me, It's this! But... The interior it's nice it's cool got the two motors on there <laughs> out of two drive shafts there are none you'd think i would have put them on there i mean they're made for it i don't know why they're not on there anyway it's got twin engines up front though see that leaning out i don't i i, I, I want to say mysterion you know it could be I really love the body style on this with these and these and the bubble top. Yeah. Pretty darn cool little model. I know it could have been more chromey, but 
man, I hate building chrome. I really do. And if you look, the chassis was even chrome and all the suspensions, all the motors. So I got rid of all that crap. All right. Well, this is him. And that's the end of the show. I'm, well, I might as well leave him up here. The end of the show, I'm going to say give me a like and a subscribe and a comment and some other stuff. And I just wanted to say that model cars are not just a hobby. They're an adventure. And I will catch y'all sometime later on the next one. Bye.